We race to develop a coronavirus vaccine. Some major questions are emerging. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. A lot of people are wondering if the government could force people to get it. Or could people who refuse get banned from stores or lose their jobs? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl spoke with a legal expert to get some answers. Imagine a world where you have to get vaccinated and show proof to go shopping, board a plane, or just go to work. Legally, it could happen, says University of San Diego law professor Dove Fox. States can compel vaccinations in more or less intrusive ways. They can limit access to schools or services or jobs if people won't, don't get vaccinated. It could force them to pay a fine or even lock them up in jail. Those measures have been adopted in other countries like France, but not so far in the United States. It all dates back to a Supreme Court case in 1905. The court held that Massachusetts could fine people for not getting vaccinated against smallpox. That case became the basis of vaccine requirements at schools across the country. Courts have found that when medical necessity requires it, the public health outweighs the individual rights and liberties at stake. Just last year, New York City passed an ordinance fining people for not getting a measles vaccination. But there's a big difference between what states have the power to do and what Congress could do. There are these questions, separation of powers, commerce clause uh, question. Professor Fox says a federal vaccine requirement would probably get shot down by the current Supreme Court based on a 2012 ruling on the Affordable Care Act. That means we could have a patchwork of different vaccination requirements in different states. Professor Fox says states would need to allow exemptions for people with legitimate medical risks like pregnancy, but not exemptions for other reasons. Religious exemptions, philosophical ones, have largely been overridden in the name of public health. However, Professor Fox says recent protests over face coverings show there's a big risk of a backlash here. And just because states have the power to require vaccinations doesn't mean it's the best public policy. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. And legal experts say that private businesses would have the authority to fire workers who don't want to get vaccinated for personal or religious reasons. Companies would just need to show that there are significant costs at stake for having unvaccinated employees.